On today's video, we're going to unbox a brand new Bauer combination belt and disc sander. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the Old Guy, the OG, Jay. You know who you are. And we're deep in the trailer hood. And as you saw from the thumbnail on this video, uh, I took a little trip to Harbor Freight today. And we're going to do a tool unboxing. And the tool that uh, I've chosen, well, actually, you helped chose it. choose it. Chose it? You helped chose it? No, you helped choose it. I don't know. Uh, if you went to my survey that I put out a few days ago, I asked, what's the best tool that I should uh, unbox and uh, overwhelmingly people said a combination belt and disc sander. So that's what I'm going with. And uh, I thought, well, I'd take a little trip over to Harbor Freight and see what they had. And because I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on this. So I went over there and took a look at uh, some of what they had to offer. And basically they have two brands, <laughs> just two. Um, and one is the Central Machinery. It's That's the company that uh, Harbor Freight really started with, and they uh, made them what they are today. But they also offer another higher-end brand called Bauer, and I don't know anything about Bauer. If you know anything about it, please leave a comment in the comments. I'd like to know more. I'm going to do a little bit more research later on, but uh, when you're looking at two different brands of the same tool, it's, it's not quite as fair as if I was looking at six different brands. I didn't get to look at the DeWalt or the uh, Porter Cable or Craftsman, anything like that. No, I just looked at the Bauer in comparison of the Central Machinery. And uh, there's a huge difference. I mean, this is the Central Machinery one. And as you can see, they don't even, you know, it's not really fair because they, they don't have this set up right. You can't make the table go, go level uh, for the disc sander. And um, there's not even a belt connected to the disc sander, so I can't really show you how it works. That's the most important thing. What I just showed right there was the price. It's only $89.99, so for under $90, bucks, you can get this <laughs> sander. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's uh, central machinery. It's not high-end probably would be okay for a while but uh, when i looked over at the bauer i was very very pleasantly surprised it's put together really nice it does have a fair amount of plastic on it but it also has a lot of steel and not pot metal uh, the adjustments on it seem to be a lot smoother than the other one this is nice right here we have a uh, the best the best thing about this is this has an exhaust port for the sawdust Whereas the other one, well, it doesn't. Where the exhaust port would be, uh, they have the on-off switch. So, you know, um, sawdust is a big, big thing. That's a big deal. I've got a lot of it around here, and I, I like to use my shop vac to uh, control that. So, can't do that with the uh, central machinery, but we can with the Bauer. And the price on the Bauer, I didn't think was too bad. Uh, a lot more expensive than the central machinery. But when you do compare the price of the Bauer to uh, DeWalt, Craftsman, Porter Cable, and others, it uh, it's it's not too bad. One thirty nine ninety nine. So for around one hundred and forty bucks, it's a a decent looking tool, and that's the one that I decided to go with, and that's the one I have here in the shop. And we're gonna get to that right now. We're gonna uh, unbox this. Uh, we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you how easy or how difficult it is to set it up. We're going to put uh, some uh, sanding disc and a sanding belt on it, and then I'll demonstrate it to the best of my ability, and uh, we'll, we'll see what I think about this. But before we get started, I want to thank all the people that have gone over to my coffee page. My coffee page is really important to me, especially this time of year, because you can, you can head over there. There's a link in the description. You can buy me a cup of coffee. I use that money not only to buy coffee, but this time of year... I use it to buy propane to heat this shed so that I don't freeze when I'm in here doing the unboxings and doing the other videos. And I want to do more and more videos every week. I've got some guests lined up, and I don't want them to come into a cold shed. So if you could, I would really appreciate it. Head on over to my coffee page. Again, there's a link in the description, and it will go a long, long way. So let's get started now and unbox 
this beautiful Bauer combination four inch belt sander and six inch disc sander. So here we are, we're going to open this up right now. This is the sander in question. And the nice thing about this sander is when I was gonna fix my dad's sander, I bought a bunch of belt and a bunch of sanding discs. So I already have those and they do include one belt and one disc anyway. So let's get this started. This is my favorite part, opening it up. I couldn't find my knife, so I just have a drywall screw. And that seems to work all right. Look at that. We have the directions. Put those right there. We've got some styrofoam. Packaged very well if you have this shipped to your house. Uh, it's it's very, very solid in there. And I see the belt is already on, so that's kind of nice. Let me set this on the ground. I'm going to pick it up and put it on the table, which is my table saw. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Something just fell off. All right. Well, most of it is already put together. Even give me a little piece of wood. That's, that's strange. As you can see, I really need to clean this shed, and I'm going to at some point. All right, here's our power cord. Let's see how long it is. It's that long. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's a good length. Let's turn this around. They already have the uh, disc on here. They already have the belt on here as well. And we can see that this needs some adjustment. We're going to take care of that. We get a little bit of a closer look. There's the disc. They already have the sanding disc on it. And this, of course, is the belt sander. This is, oh, look at that. That opens that right up, and that's how you get the belt off. And we get this on fairly straight. That tightens it back on. All right. That's pretty easy. And we do have a locking switch on here. You just move, you just take that off to lock it. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to leave it on there. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's got a nice long cord on it. Nice backstop. And of course, this is concave here so that the sand goes down inside here. This, the, uh, the sand? No. The, uh, <laughs> the sawdust goes down inside here. And then there is the exit port right there. And we should be able to put the. Uh, shop vac hose right on that with no problem at all. So accessories that you get with this. This is our bed. Before I actually use this, I will set this all up and demonstrate how it works. But before I actually do this, if you've ever seen any of my other videos, you know the first thing that we should do is clean off the film that's on here. They put uh, they put a film on here to protect the metal uh, using an acetone. I can take that off. Then I'm gonna put a nice paste wax down on that so that the pieces that I put across here will slide a lot better and won't scratch up the table as much. So I will do that. 
But right now, we're just going to set this up so you can see how it works. Be careful when you open this up. I see there's a washer in here. You don't want to just destroy the bag and lose the washer. There's the washer. There's our knob. Put the washer on the knob. There's a little hole. Swing this around so you can see it. And I don't have a lot of room. There's a little hole right here, and then there's a threaded hole right there, of course. So what we do is we put this pin into the larger hole. And then we will put the knob in the threaded hole, of course. There we go. Now, to check to make sure you've got the right angle on this. Again, if you've ever seen any of my videos, you know what to use, don't you? That's right. Speed square. So we're going to put that right on here. I'll pick that up later. And the table moves after you loosen this. So let's get that right on there. Pretty good right there so just tighten that down and now we got a nice well it moved that could be a problem let's get this on the table a little better if i had this on a more stable table that probably would work All right, as you can see, that's pretty good right there. Took a little bit to do that, but not too bad. And it seems to be pretty steady. That'll work. The next thing I'm taking out is this little fence. And I really like the idea of this. You gotta remember the last time I used one of these was many, many, many years ago. And the one I used did not have this little fence. Even the ones I had in high school did not have that little fence. Let's turn this around so you can see it. Oh, here we go. Again, we got two holes here. And they are threaded. Except this way right here. Make sure when you put this on, you don't have this part of the fence flush down onto here. You're, all you're going to do is sand this fence from the bottom. You don't want to do that. Now, the next thing, we just move that to make sure that it's not touching. Next thing you want to do, of course, is tighten it up with the Allen wrench that is supplied with the sander. So now that we have that on there, you would think they would put some kind of a thing on here that you could keep this with it. I know on a lot of tools they do that. And I'm going to take off points for that because there should be some place where you could. But the reason why we have this little fence here is because if we didn't, while this is going, the direction is going this way. You put this piece on if you don't have a you know, nice strong grip onto it. It can fly right off the saw and put here and go all over the place. But now you can rest your your material right up against this fence and you can put equal pressure on your piece so that when you sand it, it stands nice and flat. Right, this adjustment here moves this cylinder right here, this roller. Now, just this side of the roller. When you turn this on, if this is out of alignment, 
the belt will slide either to the right or to the left. And what you do with this is make sure that it stays as straight as possible. If you see I'm, I'm turning that, you can see the belt is going that way. Now that I'm turning it the opposite direction, the belt should be coming back over in the opposite direction. And you can see that it is. All right, here we go. Now you saw the belt travel. Now I'm turning the knob this way. You see how the belt goes back over? You want to try to get that right in the center. All right. We put this up against the fence. And we're just giving it equal pressure. You can see it's doing a pretty good job. Actually adjusting the belt side to side was not difficult at all. I remember on my dad's older one that I was going to repair, uh, that, was, that was pretty horrible sometimes. It really was. It was hard to do. This is mostly metal. It has a, uh, a cast steel base. Um, it seems pretty rugged. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of plastic on it. This uh, little sawdust chute here is plastic and uh, the sides here are plastic. But where the belt rolls up against the plastic, that's all metal. So it has a fair amount of metal on it. And it seems to be decent metal, not just shoddy pot metal that the other one had. Now we've already used this Allen wrench for one purpose. Now we're going to use it for another purpose, and that is you put it in here. And we're going to open this up just a little bit. And what do you suppose that does? It allows us to lift this up. And then make sure you tighten it again <laughs> so it doesn't drop down on your fingers. Okay, so that way, let's clear some of this debris out of here. When we go to take the, the uh, belt off, it just slides right off. Look at that. Beautiful, right? And this is an 80 grit belt. That's what comes with it. So I'm going to assume that the uh, sander on the side, the uh, disc sander, that's also 80. So recapping a little bit, we put that back on. Put the tensioner back on. Loosen that and then tighten it. And you can keep this any way you want. If you want to keep it up like that, there's no reason why you can't. But I'm going to put it down here for now. Don't just assume this is right. Check it with a gauge or check it with a uh, speed square. And that's pretty close. That's pretty good. So when you're using the disc, we can take our material. Put it up against the gauge. Put it up against the wheel. And that's pretty decent. That works well. That's it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. This this has one function. It sands wood. Uh, now we know how to put the belt on. We know these these are easy. You peel this off. We have an uh, adhesive on the, on the back side. After you get that off, you can use uh, stuff like Goo Gone to uh, take the adhesive off if there's any left on the on the plate. If there is, and if you do go that route, make sure you clean that off. Use a good acetone or a degreaser. 
something to get all the goo gone off, and then you can put your next pad on. Let me show you what the pads look like. These sanding discs, basically they look like this. This is a, this is an 80 as well. Um, has a little tab on it. You just peel that off. Already has the, the adhesive. Of course, you'd have to take your table off. You just glue it right to there. I like it. Uh, it's not a complicated tool. A few little nuances to figure out, but uh, practice with it a little bit. Uh, I've only used this thing for about 10 minutes now, and uh, I'm already getting a little better. Uh, there is a lot of sawdust around here. <laughs> but Bauer, don't know a whole lot about it. Seems like it, it works pretty well. That's it. So the next step for me is to take some acetone, clean off the film that's on here, and uh, then put a nice thick coat of paste wax, and I shouldn't have any problems with that table. I am so glad I did not buy the uh, other one. I'm glad that I got this one, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like, please hit share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and if you do subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell and you won't miss any of the videos. That's going to do it for this unboxing. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you back here next time, deep in the trailer hood, the Old Guy Network. I'm the old guy. I'm the OG, and I'm out.